Okay, we are now done with chapter six, or you have read chapter six on your own already. So we're six chapters in. We have a quiz today. We're going to go over all our assignments and everything for it right now. Okay, there's your layout. Pause it if you want to look at it. It's the same slide for every chapter, so don't worry. You guys have heard it a bunch of times. Okay, so chapter six. Um, here's your written response. Throughout this book so far, there have been times when Brian has to tell himself to keep it simple or to do one thing at a time. He has to slow his brain down. So why do you think it is important for Brian to stay focused on only one thing and take everything step by step? How can that be helpful to him in the situation he's in and give an example of how it may help him for what he's going to experience out here in the wilderness? So he kept stopping himself and saying, okay, I am Brian Robinson. I'm from here. I'm, you know, I was in a plane crash, whatever it was. He continues to do that throughout the book so far. So why do you think it's important for him to do that? Why should he stop and take things slow, take things step by step? How is that going to help him in the situation he's in? And then again, give an example of how it can help him or has helped him already maybe. Um, as always, copy down the questions above and respond. Your answer for this one should again be at least five sentences or more and you can always reread the chapter or go back and look in the PDF at any point that you need to. Okay. This is your last activity for your vocab words this week. Um, you've already copied down the vocab words. You should have already found the definitions. Um, for chapter five, you used each vocabulary word in a complete sentence. And then this is the same activity you're going to see for the third chapter in each section we have. Um, again, just like last week, you're going to take at least one of these vocab words. So you have a baited, keening, amphibious, asset, pulverized, and ruefully. For this fourth task today, you have to choose one of these words. It can be any of the six, and you're going to create a short story with that word in it, okay? A short story, just like I said last week, it only has to be a paragraph, five to seven sentences. If you want to make it longer, you can. The key thing is that you take one of these six words, and you use it in the story, and you use it properly. You should have already used it in a sentence, so you could even take the sentence that you used for it yesterday, and you can expand on that sentence to make it into a short story. It's your choice. As long as you use one of those words in a short story and you use it properly. Okay. And your final assignment for chapter six, it's a repeat assignment, but visualization is really important when it comes to our reading. So you're going to do this for chapter six. So after reading chapter six, you're going to draw a picture of the part of the chapter that you were able to visualize, meaning that you saw in your head and draw a picture of what you visualized in your head. Just like before, include details in the drawing and explain underneath what part of the chapter the picture is from. I gave you the same example from chapter two because I noticed that in chapter two, a lot of you ended up drawing a plane with the mountains behind you, which was fine. You know, that was the main part of chapter two, but I didn't wanna give you guys an example that you guys could then use for chapter six yourself. I wanna see what you guys come up with without seeing what mine would look like. So this is the same example from chapter two. So you can't take this one because in chapter six, he's not flying a plane. The plane's not in the air anymore. He's already on the ground. So we cannot use this example. That's why I put example from chapter two. So this was the picture. So just like you did in chapter two for that assignment, draw your picture of something that happens in chapter six. It can be any part of chapter six. It's whatever you pictured in your head. Nobody's has to be the same. There was a couple different things that happened in chapter six. So it's your choice on what you visualized and what you would like to draw. Um, remember also underneath your picture, make sure you tell me what part of the chapter that picture is from. Okay, I know not all of us are artists. You guys can see from Ms. Contreras' picture here. Not the best, but we can all give it a shot and do our best to draw a picture. It does not hurt and it gets us to be a little bit creative, which we don't always get to be. Okay, so that's your third assignment. Okay, so here's your list for chapter six. We're at the end of our week right now, and these are our assignments for this chapter. You have your typical written response. You have your vocabulary short story for today. And then we just went over your visualization from chapter six, okay? Because we just read three chapters again, we know that there's another quiz. So you're gonna take your chapter four through six quiz. The link is right here. Um, and just like the other one was, it's also on the Lone Tree Teacher page for Ms. Contreras. Um, we'll go over it during our office hours if you've forgotten where it is, but if you go under Hatchet 
information on my teacher page. It'll say chapter four through six quiz and all you have to do is click on it and it'll take you directly to the quiz. Just a reminder, all you do is put your first and last name on the quiz and then take it. It'll give you your score directly after that and you can only take the quiz once. Even if you try to take the quiz twice, I will only take your first score because I can see what order you've taken the quizzes on. So it does not help you to take it twice. But what I recommend you do is that while you're taking the quiz, you have the PDF version of the novel up so you can look through it. That is not cheating at all. That is simply using the text to help you out with any questions you may not remember. And keep in mind, before you take the quiz, some of you did this last week, you cannot take the quiz until you have read all the chapters and completed the assignment. So do not click on this link or copy this link right now. Your task right now is to complete your written response, short story, and visualization, and to make sure you have all your assignments done for chapters four and five as well. Once you complete all your assignments, your last thing to do for the week for Hatchet is to take the quiz. That is how you should end your week every week when it comes to Hatchet specifically. You complete everything, turn everything in, and then your final task is to take the quiz. Okay, make sure you continue to reach out with questions or anything you need help with. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for chapter seven through nine.